Equity, nigga, what I'm chosen, of course. No 360s, clothing and tour. When I do drop, I'ma blow past niggas and I toe tag niggas like I told them before. Got flow, got horse. Got dope, get more. I am sick. I am so sick of Activision. I honestly didn't think it could get any worse. I really didn't. Ghost was going to come out. I don't want to say, well, I'm not getting it because I pretty much know what it was going to be about. And let everyone, let everyone else have their fun, excuse me. But today, we've gotten wind that the ending on the campaign for Modern Warfare 2 looks exactly the same as the beginning of Mission 1 on Call of Duty Ghost. Now you saw the clip. Now let me ask you, you, why are you still giving Activision money? Why are you still putting up with that crap? I hate that it's really gotten to this point. I've actually, I, I liked Activision as a company back then. I had no problem with Call of Duty until after Black Ops 1. Then it kind of got repetitive for me and I started noticing that I wasn't having that much fun. Even with my friends, wasn't having that much fun. Original Modern Warfare, oh my god, I had so much fun. Modern Warfare 2 was by far the best online experience I've ever had. Besides that whole part where I couldn't mute people on Xbox and I couldn't get in parties when I played Team Deathmatch. That was kind of bad because, boy, people were racist and shit, calling me the N-word and everything. But besides that point, it was still the most fun I've ever had. But I've always enjoyed the campaign over multiplayer in all of the Call of Duties. Well, I would say pretty much have Modern Warfare on, including World of War. How does this happen? Seriously, I know that Activision has been copying and pasting a lot of features in their game, but how do you get so blatant, so blatant, that you copy a scene from one of your previous games? It came out years ago. It came out years ago. You copy it onto a 2013 video game. Infinity Ward, what the hell? I've actually enjoyed your campaigns a little bit more than Treyarch, but ultimately I've enjoyed them, period. How do you do this? Why do you do this? Why did you just alienate your entire consumer fan base? You must think that everybody that plays your game nowadays is just retarded or very young. That might be so, because I don't know how anyone would honestly let this fly. It's really sad because I know that a lot of people nowadays do not play the campaign for Call of Duty. Ask a general consumer. Ask a general Call of Duty fan. Have you played a campaign? Woo, no, I probably played like one mission or so. But they go straight to multiplayer every time. Straight to multiplayer. Activision, you already hit us once when Mark Rubin, I, I'm guessing that's his name, from Infinity War said that people who play Call of Duty aren't real gamers. That was already the first shot at your consumer base. Second shot was with the whole Xbox One, PS4 resolution frames per second thing. Third shot is this. You had three strikes. Three strikes. This is stupid. It's very stupid, it's very demeaning to people who actually enjoy their franchise. Now any smart person would know after, after probably Black Ops that this game was not going to go back to the glory days. Now I'm not saying that Modern Warfare was a glory days because as we all know, 
Call of Duty was not like this before. It, it was definitely dumbed down. It was definitely dumbed down. Now, not saying that it wasn't fun because, like I said, I started playing online Call of Duty once Modern Warfare 4. I mean, Modern Warfare 4. Although I said once Modern Warfare came out. But I have played a Call of Duty before that, and I've enjoyed the, the campaign. Cause that's all I played it for. I just played the campaign, and then didn't really jump into the online. But how do you how do you just how do you just do this and then just not care? Like, do you think that possibly the people who have gotten Ghost have not played Modern Warfare 2, or do you think that we just forgot? Like, the game was so old. That we just totally forgot scenes in, in your game. Like, seriously. This is ridiculous. Activision has been destroying games for years now. Tony Hawk. Remember Tony Hawk? Yeah, remember how many of those games came out? I don't even remember how many games came out. So many games came out every year. I'm pretty sure a Tony Hawk game, <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm probably exaggerating, but it seemed like so many Tony Hawk games came out that it seemed like probably two of them came out one year. You never know. That game got killed. It got milked. Guitar Hero got milked. The Rock Band games, period, got milked. I love both of those games. I spent so many time on those games. They both got killed because people got tired of it. Even spider Man is going down that route. Unless Spider-Man can possibly get a rebirth, maybe if Rocksteady can get a hold of it, if they don't have a DC license, if they can just have free reign and go anywhere, if they can revive that, maybe it'll be cool, but that game is pretty much done too. So I want to mention Ninja Turtles and how that game's still not patched on the PC. I haven't played it yet. I have no idea whether it's fixed and I, at this point I don't even care. I don't even care. When will the Call of Duty fans finally say enough is enough and get the franchise killed? We all know what Activision is about. They're about money. They see money. They see what franchises are doing well. Call of Duty is by far their baby. It's too many franchises. It comes out every single year. When will you all be done? You just gonna let them keep shitting on you like this? They're disrespecting you. They're disrespecting me. $65 for the same game every year. And they messed with the campaign this time. They messed with the campaign this time. It's ridiculous. And I really do not like that most of the people who play Call of Duty now don't even touch the campaign. Because maybe something will be done. See the people crying about the Xbox One features? That got reversed. See the people crying about Sony and what they're trying to do on the low? Most of those things have gotten reversed. Why can't why can't we just stop playing the game, stop buying the game, man? And then on top of this crap with the campaign, then an article comes out today talking about that they shipped a billion dollars worth in, in games. Come on now. You shipped a billion dollars? But that doesn't mean that you have a billion dollars in revenue. So, Grand Theft Auto sold 800 million in one day, a billion in three days. Why would you just lie like that? Well, it's not a lie, but it, it was very misleading. Very misleading. Activision, you are the worst company ever. I thought the EA was bad. I thought the Ubisoft was bad. No, Activision, you are by far the worst. Even worse than Nintendo. Ah, as far as the stubborn race, I don't know who's winning. You or Nintendo, because both of you all are stubborn. And you don't care, apparently, about your fan base and your consumers. Nobody should stand up for this. When will you all finally get Call of Duty killed? Get them up out of here, man. This is, this is ridiculous. I'm disrespected. Many ways, man, that's my rants. I said I was gonna make a video about this because I hella ranted on Twitter once I saw this. It's so ridiculous, man. So ridiculous. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.